Hi, Krista. I've been thinking about depression a lot recently for reasons. And I made a video a while back where I was talking about how lying in bed for long periods of time isn't so much a, a symptom as a coping mechanism. Um, and so today I wanted to talk about another one of my coping mechanisms that is sometimes maladaptive. The thing about me living with depression is that um, it interferes with my judgment. We all, I think, know this kind of intuitively, but there are actual studies, you know about the study, that indicate that that mood interferes with judgment. Mood affects judgment, I should say. Interferes with implies that, you know, judgment is some sort of perfect process that exists independent of mood, and that's exactly what those studies demonstrate is fallacious. But I think interferes is a fair verb here, because when I feel depressed, I judge everything to be worse. Um, from my own work to the work of other people, um, my cooking, my schoolwork, social interactions, the weather, everything seems worse. Um, and oftentimes, that does not reflect reality. Things seem worse because I am in a worse place because of the mood chemicals going on in my brain. The coping strategy that I developed for this situation um, not independently, mind you, but with the help of therapists and, you know, cognitive behavioralist people, is to just assume that things are better than I initially thought. This is actually really helpful. Things are probably better than I think they are when I'm depressed. And things are probably going to get better, especially if I focus on positive stuff. It's the same sort of shitty hippie advice that people who don't know what they're talking about give people with depression all the time. But it works to a certain degree. Um, it helps to think of the positive things, it helps to focus on the future, it helps to assume that things are better than they first appear. As good as this coping strategy is, it can cause problems. So the limbic system is involved in judgment for a reason, it's not an accident. Your forebrain is not constantly weighing the pros and cons of every decision in some sort of order arithmetic way. You need your gut, or your limbic system, in order to make decisions. Because mood is a sort of heuristic for a variety of factors that we can't necessarily weigh in a perfect way. It's just, it's how our brain processes information. And sometimes, that heuristic is useful. Like, if I'm in an uncomfortable situation, or if somebody is being kind of a creep and I'm assessing them as being kind of a creep. Or if, for a variety of possible reasons, my bad feelings have a root in a real situation that is really causing me to have the bad feelings for real valid reasons. You might be thinking, but Sam, all of your feelings are valid. No, they are not. Some of them are assholes and they cannot come to my party. However, Sometimes, my bad feelings are unfairly discounted because my coping strategy for my depression involves assuming things are better than I think they are. It would be good to develop a more robust strategy. However, getting to the point where I'm depressed, so I'm going to assume that things are better than they initially appear, took a lot of work. I, I'm going to give myself a high five for that. That's a, that's a big step. Um, and I will work on imagining myself as a depressed person more complexly and trying to listen to my gut even though sometimes it's an asshole and is not actually located in my gut. Krista, I will see you tomorrow.